Welcome to MFIS Television. Today we're going to talk about your benefits. In the month of October and November, it's usually a time for open enrollment with your current employer. So today we're going to talk about in a two-part series about what you should consider during open enrollment at your company's employer benefits. Now today we're going to focus primarily just on the insurance end. In next episode, we're going to refer to the retirement plan and packages of it. When you're looking at insurance for your employer, there's basically six different types of insurance that your employer can offer. The six are health insurance, vision insurance, dental insurance, life insurance, disability insurance, and long-term care. We're going to talk about each one one by one as we go along. For health insurance, what you should consider with your employer health insurance is the co-payment and the deductible are the most important things. The co-pay is how much would it cost me if I go to the doctor? Now, it can be ranged from $10 up to $50 on your average when you go for a doctor visit with your copay. The second thing you should look at is what is my deductible if something, if I ever have to go to a hospital and I just go for a regular doctor visit? Is it between $1,000 or $5,000? Is it $500 or $5,000? The reason that is, is just in case something does happen, how much can you afford to pay your deductible? Now, the rule of thumb is this. If you don't have enough money to cover the deductible, if it's higher, you should lower your deductible premiums. Now, if that happens, your monthly premium on your health insurance is going to be less as you have, as you have a higher deductible. So the more deductible you have, the less is your monthly premiums that you're paying for your health insurance. And then the third thing you should find out is how much does it actually cover? Now, most often, more and more health insurance companies are doing co-pays which means you will have to still come out $30 to $40 until you hit a maximum limit, even though they do cover it. So for instance, your bill might be $10,000 because your son broke his arm and he went to an emergency room. And your job, you're supposed to cover 30%. Now you'll pay the $3,000 while your insurance company covers $7,000. That is your co-payment. The second type of insurance is vision insurance. Does your company provide vision insurance? If you press that word glasses or word contacts, it might be helpful to find out if your company provides vision insurance. And usually vision insurance is real affordable if you don't have it with your employer. The third type of insurance is dental insurance. Now, with dental insurance, most companies offer it. If they do not, you might want to look outside source looking for dental insurance to cover braces, cleanings, and checkups, or you can self-insure yourself sometimes, which might be cheaper than getting insurance on your own. Life insurance. How much, how much life insurance do your company offer? Do they cover one year's pay, two years pay? Does the life insurance can help sustain your family just in case something happens? Or does it cover the mortgage if you ever do pass away and the mortgage need to be paid? If not, a great thing might be is look for an outside supplement uh, life insurance to cover the cost if something does happen to you for your wife's family to live the same lifestyle that they're living today. Disability is the same thing. If you get hurt, you get sick, you get cancer, you get hurt on the job, how much money do you want to come in to take care of the family? Now, there's a lot higher chance of you ever getting sick or hurt compared to using life insurance. And I think it's most misunderstood insurance policies there is. Now, most employers, when people know, is that if the employer pays for the disability insurance, that money you are receiving is pre-tax, which means that you're going to be taxed on any money you do receive from your disability insurance if your company pays. And the last thing you want to consider, especially if you're 50 and older, do your company offer long-term care insurance? It's one of the most important insurances as we get older into our golden years. Once again, these are the six benefits that you should consider when you're doing your employer retirement plan. Now, if you guys have any questions or answers or comments, please give us a call at 510-229-7608 or you can reach us on LinkedIn, Facebook, or on our email, matthewsfinancial at gmail.com. Good night.